In order to factor this completely, we first look for the greatest common factor, which is a common factor of 3 and also y. When we divide each term by 3y, we see we're left with 2y squared in the first term, plus 3y when we divide the 9 by 3 and the y squared by y, and finally just a 1 because 3y divided by 3y is dividing by itself, so that leaves us with 1. So we know that our first factors are 3 and y. Then we can see we have three terms, so we break up our parentheses to try to factor this trinomial. The last term is a 1, so the product has to be 1 times 1. The last term is positive, which says the signs are the same, and because the first sign is also positive, that means they must, but must both be positive. We know we need a y in order to get a y squared, and the only possibility for 2 is 2 times 1, since we're multiplying them by the 1. That gives us a 1y on the inside and a 2y on the outside, which together does add to 3y. So that we have 3y times 2y plus 1 times y plus 1. We don't need the 1 that's in front of the y because that's assumed. Remember, though, as in any factored form, these factors can come in any order, as long as these are the final factors that you have. And none of them can be broken down further, so it is in its completely factored form.